Hello, Akron fans! This is Shadow Fury 3 with the last match of the semifinals of the July 17, 2011 Akron Beta Tournament between Sakhanov playing Unknown Yet and Kitan, who is playing. Oh, sorry, Sakhanov is playing. He is playing Vekir as he has been for the rest of the tournament, and Kitan is playing Grekem as he has been for the tournament so far. So both players acknowledging this is a tournament match, and Kitan is currently in pause, getting his perfect start set up, while Sakhanov has already set up his perfect start and is just getting it going. So he has his economy built up, he has his Teth Beer going to scout out, while Kitan, at about 30 seconds down from him, has set up his... well, set up his Faro, he set up his Sephi, he's gonna get some Arcticus very quickly, his Arcticus is moving out to protect the front of his Bane, and the Sephis are... here we are, there's the Arcticus. The Arcticus... no one's building the Arcticus right now. So the Arcticus are being built up, and two of them are for RPs, two of them are for the standard scout harassment attack that Kitan often does. Actually, all, all Grekin players tend to do. Kitan, Sickles, everyone who's been Grekin pretty much has been doing that. At least the ones who've gotten anywhere. So, right now, we see Sakhanov building up a quick foundation, likely to build a quick depot, while he also has three additional RPs on QP. Here we are, here's the depot. Very quickly, about two minutes into the game, he has a depot. And Kitan, at about a minute down from here, has built up his two Octos to harass Scout and another Octo, so he has six LCRPs. He has nothing else building up right now, but he will be building up stuff very soon. He's in slow-mo, appears to be trying to micro his decently well, but anyway. So Sakhanov is likely to be going for very quick depot, and he's noticing Octo's coming in, the scouting Octo's coming in, attacking his Teth Beer, and distracting them for a little bit. But he has his depot coming up, he's likely to be building up either very quick design pulsers, or maybe, he's getting, or he was getting out of defense back when he was. So he's probably going to be getting, there we are, auto defense is being built, so he's getting Zion Pulsers. He's going to say he's probably going to get Zion Pulsers, give them skip teleport, and then teleport them all the way into the base of Kitan. But I don't know how it's going to work out, because this Zion Pulser right here is dealing with Octos, and having a very hard time dealing with them. It's not kiting it very well. Depot is being built up, Zion Pulser is being built up fairly quickly, and auto defense is also being built up. No new Zion Pulsers coming from the depot right now, though, oddly enough. But... Sakhanov so will likely be doing that very quickly. He seems to be more focused on kiting away from the Octos that will be attacking. Here it is. The Octos are attacking. They're hitting the Shin Beer very hard, but they're also getting hit very hard by the Zion Pulsar, so between that and Auto Defense, they should be able to be repelled, but the Zion Pulsar will take a lot of damage in the meantime. No foundations to heal it up, so right now the Zion Pulsar is not doing very well, and it looks like Sakhanov trying to jump back to figure out when he was. I don't think he's going to be changing race anytime soon, but he is... He has actually gone back to when his race picker was. You know, maybe he is changing. He is changing race. How about that? So he's decided he doesn't want to go for Vekir against Grekum. He's much more comfortable going as CISO against Grekum. So he switched to CISO, and now building up his start as CISO, while Kitan is going to be building up, or get, going to be attacking with the Octos, dealing the damage that he's dealing to the Vekir base, but it will be ultimately the CISO base. Kitan, of course, has also built up a lot of economy. He has 4 QP and 6 LC, and he doesn't have any reefs up yet. He has a Seppi to build a reef, and that should be building a reef very quickly. There we are, there's the reef. So, he will have tech very quickly. Zion Pulse is dealing a fair amount of damage, but that's a very interesting change for Sakhanov. So, he has... He has 5 RP, he's gonna get a 6th very soon, I'm sure. Or, here, a 6th on QP, so 5, 5 and 1. An importer will likely be built very quickly as well. One of the Marines is actually going towards the north. Yeah, he's going towards the north, to this little plateau here, to build some more buildings there. And... Also, Sakhanov jumping forward, just double check how his Vekir attempt went, but... Ultimately, he's going to be playing CISO, so it's not that big of a deal. Kitan is not really paying attention to what happened during that attack, so he doesn't know yet that there's been a change to CISO, but Sakhanov will be able to make use of that. Advanced Rush is being upgraded for Kitan. Kitan is actually about um, two minutes up from Sakhanov, and so he's going to have quite a bit of initiative. I wouldn't be surprised if he did what most Grekum do, which is basically build up turrets. Actually, Kitan does this particularly a lot, compared to, say, Sickles, is build up turrets, build up with advanced structures, Build up a spire, then build up the far pause to Corona Court. And here we are, so two domes coming up, and it looks like two more domes, so four domes coming up, four Kitan, so it's gonna be very well protected against any attacks. So Khanov is actually gonna be dealt even more damage once this Octos come in, but he's building up a factory towards the north, and actually towards north and center. Not really building up anything in his main though, so the Octos will be able to deal a lot of damage. Kitan jumping back actually sees that there has been a race switch going on, but dealing a fair amount of damage to the RPs. Kitan, fully aware that he actually is fighting against CISO now instead of Vekir, is... I should know he's going to be even less concerned, but these deals... Octos are dealing a lot of damage, so kind of doesn't seem to be too worried about it. He's coming from the north with a Marine and a Spec Ops, but they're probably going to do too much. Two Importers and a Factory coming in. Marine to the north building... He was building an Importer. He jumped back about 30 seconds, but 
It probably won't do too much. These Octos are going to deal a lot of damage. They're going straight for the RPs, and the Marine and Spec Ops are not going to be able to deal enough damage to finish them, especially given that Stakhanov is actually not really attacking them directly. It looks like he's just sacrificing this base entirely. He really should be building some RPs, however, because he does need the resources to actually build the units he needs to do anything. Two Reefs here for Kitan. Kitan is getting Chrono Port, and he will likely be getting a Spire very quickly. And here's the Faro, likely to be building the Spire. And then, of course, Faro Pods, sending back Faro Pods in time to deal a ton of damage, but... Here we are. So now the Marine and Spec Ops are actually attacking, but Sakhanov will not be able to be able to do too much damage because Autos are that powerful. I mean, Autos are a powerful unit. They are expensive, but they are powerful, so they're worth their cost. And Stakhanov has another factory built up. He has... His first factory hasn't been used to build anything yet, but Importers are coming in. Once the Importers are done, he should have... Here we are. An ATHC is being built up, which should help, but I doubt it's going to be able to save him. He really does need to get some new RPs, because those old RPs are going to die very quickly. The ATHC is built. It's going to be coming down very quickly, so it should be cloaking... And right now, Sakhanov is pausing, double-checking what he can do. It looks like he's actually gone around again. He is building new RPs, though, in the north, but the ATHC is building up, so it looks like he's basically just trying to escape Kitan as best he can and build up away from where Kitan can see. Kitan does have Chrono now, he does have a Spire built up, and he will very quickly be able to get some Faro Pods and send them back in time to deal a ton of damage. So, right now, he's in a very good position. Once he sees, however, that Sakhanov is not too worried about his armory, he's probably going to consider that Sakhanov is not focusing on the main base and probably somewhere else entirely on the map. So Sakhanov, like I said, is in fact somewhere else entirely on the map. The north center, to be precise. Not building up beyond that one expansion, though. He does have a couple ATHCs coming down around the main to... Or sorry, around two Titans main, around the middle. And it looks like there really isn't much going on here apart from this construction. Sakhanov seems to be building up very few RPs. He does need to build a few more RPs, but I think he should be good. Okay, another RP is coming up. Maybe one more RP and then he'll be secure with this aggressive strategy, but he does need to still build up, rebuild his economy. He does have, like I said, two ATCs. They are cloaked. They will be able to get through fairly effectively, but Titan is very far to the future and will be likely... He has a far pod coming up, and he's more than likely going to be chronoporting it back. He's, I'm sure, going to be chronoporting this back, cloaking it, sending it, scouting out the north. He doesn't know for sure that it's actually a base, but he will be finding out very quickly that it in fact is. And yes, he sees that it is, so a chronoport is very likely to occur right about now-ish, if not sooner, but it seems odd, actually. Titan is not going for a Chronoport right now. Sakhanov is getting dealt a lot of damage in the present, or actually slight future, but Sakhanov himself is actually two and a half minutes down. He knows well enough that this is coming. He sends his HHCs, he's sending his HHCs to attack against the domes. The domes, however, are going to be able to detect them, deal a fair amount of damage. What he needs to do, of course, is come around the side and hit the QPRPs from the bottom. That will be able to harass enough to stop the Chronoporting from actually happening in the first place. But unfortunately, he's actually standing around trying to get rid of these domes. It's a very bad idea. That will not work. The domes are getting healed too quickly. Two reefs. And he doesn't know there's two reefs, but he does know that there's at least three domes. There are four domes, of course, but still, that's too many domes for an ATC to deal with. So Farpod will likely be Corona pointing back. Actually, what I'm thinking Kitan is going to do is wait until the UPP, or possibly just right now, actually, and send the Farpod back now from the looks of it. He is paused, and generally when players are paused, it's because they're sending units into the unplayable past, because when you pause, you can chronoport and queue orders a lot more effectively than if you're trying to do it while still playing, because then the chronoport happens and you can't queue orders while they're chronoported in the unplayable past. But now a Lancer coming in actually to help out against these Octos, try to deal with them, to at least save one of the RPs and the armory so that some tech can be built. Although another armory has been built towards the north, a backup armory, so this won't be a big deal, but Sakhanov is going to have a hard time dealing with this. Kitan, like I said before, has sent back... He sent back another far pot as well, so two far pots coming back, two attacks Sakhanov. The red wave is what is carrying that, and that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem. Sakhanov is going to have a hard time dealing with this. He has Lancers coming up, but he needs Tornads. He has no machinery. He has no Spec Ops. He actually is getting nothing either, so he doesn't have anything to detect cloaked units. I'm a bit surprised at this. He has a lot of Lancers coming in to save his main base, and of course Lancers are very good anti-air units this, at this point in the game, but they aren't being supported. They have no... Yeah, they have nothing to support them. They have no Spec Ops. They have no Lancers. A spec Ops is coming up, but that won't be a lot. Those five Lancers will have to act very quickly once they see the Farapods coming in. The Red Wave, like I said before, the Red Wave is what's carrying the Farapods, and Sakhanov probably is aware now that there are Farapods, but he doesn't have anything to build tech with at the moment. So he's going to need to be sending up some units. The Lancers are dealing a lot of damage, and I think Sakhanov won't be able to actually deal with this. It looks like... Judging by his chat, he might actually be surrendered. Oh, yeah. Well, there he goes. He's surrendered. That was pretty surprising. So, yeah. Sakhanov has not even GG'd, just 
completely quit out, and that is the game. Rather, rather short game, so congratulations, Kitan, going to the finals, which will be coming up shortly. Well, in an independent video. Anyway, thanks for watching, and have a good night.